I don't even, oh my God. And we I get said, a blood we, pressure said, we have to check go. on Miss Mattel over and here. Ever, and, and we have to go. And we just had to go. We had to go. What you, what you know about it? Come and get it, baby. Come and get it. We got costumes and wigs. It's a startup. Oh! We should do an MLM of this business. We go to people's houses and we're selling a green screen, two wigs, and two dresses. I we're like, if I can lock you in now. That's a great idea. Can you sign up a friend? I'll give you ten yeah. percent off if, if you, you refer can find a friend. Twenty friends who also would benefit in front of the green screen. Yeah. yeah. First order of business is to find out if you have any genitals. Then determine what kind they are, and finally squeeze them. What do you think this is supposed to be doing? Do you think is is it this? Is it? I this? think you could give a little. It's absolutely that. Oh, it is? Okay, I'm yes, doing this. Yeah, and it's look ugly. And okay, now look, sorry. it is gorgeous. Because okay, wow. it it'll come right almost down to the... Sh okay. Well, that's uh, okay. okay, God. <laughs> I am in head-to-toe leather. <laughs> this is leather. That's leather. These are pearls. Get, get used to it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Move that bus! Trixie Mattel. And true story, just the, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Don't talk about me like I'm not here. Trixie Mattel. And help, I've fallen, but I can't, nope. Uh, she couldn't pull off curls. She didn't have your bone structure. Trixie Mattel. Go ahead and give the big girls some shots. They're good and juicy. And gotcha. welcome, to, oh. I'm so sorry, that that's, was. That's never happened. And welcome to, Mm. The show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> Ugh. That was a gross sound. I hate that. I do too. Blech. Get it out of here. <laughs> It's time, it's showtime. It's showtime, it's always time. You know what, when the drag queens arrive, it's always time because the girls with the gig serving the tea boots. That's hunty. hunty. It's the hunty. That's hunty, bitch, and if you don't like it, you're not ready to work, work, work. <laughs> if you're not part of the LGBTQ plus community, you're not here to serve time and serve tea and true boots. No, down. Sky Lounge. And I'm in a, in a flight attendant uniform, sing Sky Lounge. Take, Take a, a shower at the Sky Lounge. You can have chicken. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I know it's been talked about. We've talked about it. People talk about it. But look at the journey. Look at the look what's happened. Look, look at, at the, the glow. Up. Look at the glow. Oh. Look at how she glistens. Oh. Look at these yuckies. I've been with a lot of bigger men. Which snoring is just part of the game. Girl, you haven't lived till you pick the bears and they sleep with the mask on. Oh yeah. Oh mama, the CPAP. Love that. When you That's do great. anal and he busts out the CPAP and you're like, work. But then it's like. Put the mask on. It's yeah. a little bit oh, yeah. ambient noise, white noise. Oh sure, which I love. Actually, that's the only way I can sleep. Yeah, and then you Silence. lean over in the middle of the night and you can just, and then the tubes, he looks like Top Gun. You just, you squeeze the tube. And Why wait. connect that tube to my ass? <laughs> And I just start you farting. You them hot juices right into that mm -hmm. tea. That's the tea, hunty. <laughs> I would love, to, like, I would love extra help, extra. Pe what's wrong? Everybody's looking at me like, what's wrong? Oh, you just look crazy. No, I'm just kidding. My drawing room looks like a little girl's bedroom. Mine looks like Buffalo Bill, like, went to grad school or something like that. Uh, also, white noise. I mean, the Alexa, play rain sounds. Yeah. Girl, it's over. The other really good thing is. Uh, the, that amazing, super famous YouTube channel, Lo-Fi Beats, for uh, studying. Yeah. We used it when Mine we wrote the book. Yep. Old timey music from another room during a rainstorm. There's so all specific. different, there's so, all different yeah, like yeah. variations. Gossip from a 30 year old woman down the hall for, in, in a boarding school. Ugh, there goes that bitch Mackenzie. Ugh. A 1986 Pinto stalling 1.2 miles away. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, anything totally. you want. <laughs> anything, anything, yeah. A man who's, had, who's fed up giving his, the last speech to his wife before he leaves and goes, yeah, it's the whole thing. Yeah. Beyonce singing at the presidential inauguration while someone's making pop. <laughs> like whatever you want, it exists. It really exists. Have you ever asked God for help? No. I also haven't asked the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I mean, wait, I have a question. 
Do you, I, I'm a firm believer that you can change your inside by changing your outside, right? False. Well, let me continue. Okay. <laughs> Haircut makes you feel good. Lipstick makes you feel good. Mm. Perfume makes you feel good. Buying a new album makes you feel good. Lipstick on a pig. Oink, oink. We change, do you feel like a changed person when you get in dry? A changed yeah. woman? A mangled woman. I feel like um, a cross changed woman. I feel like I've been cursed, like I've been marked. Do you know what I mean? Like the scarlet letter. Yeah. Except it's like, you know, when they, um, <gasps> drag me to hell that I feel like I was gummed You're that gum by woman. a Hungarian witch. <laughs> would you get your <laughs> by a woman? No. Would you get your, <laughs> wait, would you get <laughs> by a man who had no teeth? Of course. But he's really hot, but no teeth. Really hot, but no teeth, mama? There's no butt there. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, the other day, I had the most incredible form of deja vu. Mm. Like deja vu, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I was like- That sounds incredible. <laughs> no, Whenever I have deja vu, I go deja vu, deja vu, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and people know exactly what's happening. But you know what deja vu is, right? You have Beyonce song. <laughs> can't get the rights, why bother singing it? <laughs> I was thinking back. <laughs> it's horrible. When I was in first grade, uh -huh. guess how old my uh, teacher was? 21. <laughs> well, most women passed of diphtheria in that time, you know? <laughs> women died in childbirth, left and right. The mortality rate was 60%. Yeah. <laughs> and all the kids went to school in the same building. You, you know, you, you're done with your match. You got a day off the next day. You know what's happening? Eight ball. <laughs> oh, what were you gonna say? What was it? Was this eight ball? What was that? Legs open. Oh. Legs open. Receiving. Yeah. Accounts receiving payable. Oh. Yeah. Accounts Shipping receivable. and receiving. Yeah. Yeah. Shipping Legs and receiving. Legs overhead like a pretzel. Exactly. The, they call it the French open. Because that wide, wide and splayed. Remember that video during COVID? Remember that video of Henry Cavill taking apart a computer? I would watch him take apart my grandmother. Yeah. Ugh. What I do have, I have a few of, but they're so big and beautiful. They're huge. Those exactly. Are than mine. There's only two, but Where that's enough. What are you talking about? God. <laughs> oh. I'm here to tell you that my boot. What if I really believed it? You know when you have a missing limb and you still feel like it's itching, phantom limb syndrome? You would reverse phantom limb where you believe that those were your boobs. Cut off a man's leg and you'll feel it tickling. Tell me, Trixie, when your little Catherine's on the slab, where will it tickle you? <laughs> no, I know, I know. Imagine if I really, if it, if it unlocks something in, in the mind's eye. I think it does. <laughs> That's the problem. You really say mind palace? I got the boob palace. Cause look, watch, sometimes it goes under. <laughs> oh my God. We are going on tour obviously and we had to, can we talk about what we had yes, to do? Yes, but we, what the, it was, okay. We had to do a full dress run through with no makeup in full costumes and wigs. And it was video feed, bitch. A huge screen projected in back of us of what we looked like and it was a wake up call after rude awakening, after slap in the face, it was, and because we had <sighs> corsets and body and wig on, we were like looking at the jumbotron of us. And like, like yeah, oh, yes, uh, uh. To, yes. And honey. then I would turn around and it was like, <laughs> Walter Matthew. Yeah, Marla Hooch. It was Marla Hooch. It's like when I was having sex in my 20s. A lot of like from two stories, just wet, wet hamburg on the sidewalk, hot sidewalk. I don't think anyone <laughs> in your 20s. <laughs> they, didn't. they actually didn't. They didn't. When the body turns against you, when the body turns the corner, pulls the, the curtains, Girl. when the body leaves the chat, gets in the car, and <laughs> drives away. The Uber XL. When the body makes a phone call that you don't remember making. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and now I don't. I thought I did, but now I don't. When the body has a plan that you don't agree with. <laughs> when you are sleeping with the enemy and the enemy is you. Sleeping with the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Oh, how about nude cleaning? Nudie maids? Oh, wait, not, um, Do you want to know something that happened to me in college? I think this might be a story I haven't told you. I responded to an internet ad. They were looking for a young man to clean their house. Naked. But I didn't put it together that it was sex related. I got there and I said, okay, what do you want me to do? And they were like, uh. And it just was weird for five minutes. And then he gave me money and told me to leave. What a great and then only years later was I like, I think, I think, I think 
I responded to a sex worker ad. Okay. Thinking I was gonna be Swiffering. I was down to be a sex worker unknowingly. Yeah. But I actually didn't do any work. That's my, that's my, you're stepping on my turf. <laughs> so you, how have you changed since the show started? I have achieved all my dreams and I'm ready to hang it all up. Sarco Death Pod. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> Although the service. If you need some, if you're in coach and you need something, once every three hours you might see a busy flight attendant run by. Oh, it's Mad Max. It's Les Mis. It's and, over there. And people. they got horse blinders on. Yeah. You could be like, you could know her first, middle, and last name. Excuse me, Stephanie Ann Smith. And she's like, couldn't hear you. Yeah. La 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 la. Sorry. Sorry. Absolutely. But in first class, before that drink is empty, they're like, you want another one? Wait, 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 how about this though? Have you ever declined to help someone who has been actively looking for help and then, you know, days or hours, even hours later, have discovered that they were killed? What if I said yes? No. Has that happened to you? It could happen. I don't know. If no. I don't see you on the seven o'clock Zoom, I'll know what happened. <laughs> yeah. Mama, wasted time. You ever thought that? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> I don't know about past lives. I don't know about past lives. I don't know. You're about not that. even concerned about your present life. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I certainly don't have my uh, my uh, finger on the pulse of a future one. You know? We're not even sure about your pulse, diva. Oh, say oh, it. Come on, dead girl. Say that. <laughs> say that. Come on, heart palpitations. Come on, noodle head. Come on, cardiac arrest. <laughs>